Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to process video number 162 um, entitled New Home for My Scrapbooks. Now this is going to be a double page layout and I am featuring some products from the latest November flavors of the month kit from the scrap room kit club and these are papers from echo park um, and the sketch this is actually one of my extra layouts for the scrap room um, this is not one of my assignments but i just thought i would share with you since i have videotaped the process already um, this sketch is based off of a scrapbook generation sketch um, i love their sketches for double page layouts because they do focus on multiple multi-photo layouts which I am um, that's how I scrapbook and um, they you know they, they make me not have to think about how I design my page because the sketches already the sketches already does that for you so with this sketch the, with this sketch you have kind of blocks of pattern paper on the one side and then most of your photos will be on I mean sorry blocks of paper on the left side and then most of your photos will be on the right side and so that's what I'm kind of doing here first um, I did want to um, as a scrapbook generation fashion or like their typical thing they do have strips of paper going across the board and so I'm going to do that first with this striped paper and then just trimming that with half an inch so I'm going to do that so so it will spread across and then the um the photos actually from the sketch were more like square photos but i only have three by fours and so i'm kind of deviating a little bit for the sketch but you know what that's the beauty of sketches is you can do however whatever you want with it to match it with your project I'm starting off with this blue paper that has some harvest or some fall themed designs on there um, but I actually will end up kind of chopping that up a little bit and then adding a little bit more paper or the other papers on there just because I wanted to have a balance of different designs. Now the sketch um, called for some paper strips that have notchings on the end on the top and the bottom of the right side and so that's what i'm doing here and that's another thing that i love about those sketches is that um, it helps you to use up the papers that you actually have so that's what i'm doing here um, you only get three papers from the mini kits that you get from the flavors of the month packs from scrap the scrap room kit club however they are double-sided so you do get six designs out of it and that's kind of fun so that's what I'm doing I'm just cutting like two inch strips really fat strips and then I'm going to cut them the ends into notches then trimming it off and then sticking that on the top I will be doing some kind of a pattern where um, the like the text design you will see that on the farthest right whereas in the bottom you will see it in the farthest left kind of doing it something like that and um so i'm just finishing it up i know it's a big mess right now and some people might be cringing telling me uh, telling your talking on the video or on the um, device that you're watching into and, and probably thinking why doesn't she just adhere everything so things are not moving around but I don't know I'm the kind of person where I want to kind of see it first before I commit to adhering everything so I apologize if it's a big mess right now but that is my process that's how I think that's how I create and um, yeah that's just how I, my brain works so I'm kind of moving things around and as you can see there's a lot of pattern on the left side or on the right side rather but there's not a lot on the left so that's what I'm gonna try to kind of figure out how to mend that and make it a little bit more balanced in how I'm seeing it in my eyes right here and so I have decided maybe I should cut like um, four by six so that we can have like four by six spots on there so that's what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna see okay I think I like that but then it just seems like very blockish and then I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna put that photo because if I put that on the kind of burlap side it's just a little bit boring so I needed that to be put somewhere where it doesn't really like it has a design but it doesn't compete with that and I ended up with that and but I'm just thinking well maybe I could kind of 
do the same pattern that I was doing with the banners and I actually like that so that's what I'm gonna go for and that's how the page is gonna end up now my big title is gonna be on the bottom of the journaling and it will incorporate the two foil words that are part of the embellishment add-on and then I'm gonna use some of my um, my own stash of letter stickers to complete the title okay so a little bit about the photos um, in 2000 I think 15 I had wanted to get uh, a new home for my scrapbooks a new shelf because the shelf that I had was um, it, it wasn't holding it up anymore because of the scrapbooks being too heavy the shelf was bowing in on the center and so it wasn't looking really good and so I told my husband that I just wanted to get those calyx shelves from Ikea because that's what I see everybody use and I thought that it would work out but my husband being that he's he's the um, Mr. MacGyver you know I mean he's really really good when he has the time to make things but he said well why don't I just make you one and so I said okay make me one and so our so Mother's Day came and went I still didn't have my shelf my birthday came and went still no shelves and so finally like in August I'm like you know what if you don't give me my shelf by Christmas I'm just buying the calyx like it doesn't matter to me if it's not like real wood or whatever it was I just I wanted a place for my scrapbooks and so finally I think he started a project around August and finished it off um, beginning of October and that is where when I was uh, photographing these um, images so I made the design because he told me what I want uh, create the design of what I wanted it and so that's what I did I, I made a design so the top shelves are for books so they're narrower and then the bottom is basically double the depth of the the top ones so that it can hold my my scrapbooks and so that's that's the shelf that we have in our in our front room and I guess you know I do like that it was custom made because it fit perfectly in the wall that I would wanted it to go to and fit perfectly with the color stain that we wanted in the front room so I do love that it's custom made I was just a little bit impatient that he was taking a long time making it but now I am happy I've had the these um this shelves for almost three years now or over three years I would say the only issue that I have with this is because if you are a scrapbooker you'd probably know how I feel is that now I'm running out of room <laughs> those bottom shelves I filled that up with all the scrapbooks that I have and um, it, it yeah I'm running out of room <laughs> so it's kind of sad that um, I couldn't contain them all in there but what can I do I, I love to scrapbook I love to make pages and document it and um, and I would never go with digital scrapbooks there's just something about flipping through an album for me I I just love the whole process of it and so now the dilemma is that he will have to make time <laughs> to probably make another one I don't know we will see so I'm just finishing off the layout since I have the the words already printed off I just printed off a whole journaling block of that and then now I'm just decorating it with all of these fun stickers uh, also included in the mini kit so that is my page guys if you have any questions make sure that you leave it in the comment section below I will um, leave a link to the scrap room kit club uh, also with the scrapper generation um, sketches and I will catch you guys another day bye